What's up YouTube? I'm Saul Lopez. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, what I do in Sonar 8.5 as far as mixing some R&B vocals. Uh, we're going to throw on some uh, of the V vocal effects and some other effects units that come with Sonar. So let's go. So what I have here is a audio track. Um, an artist by the name of Yosarian Bowens came through the studio. We're working on his album together. First, let's hear it. Today was so crazy, had a fight with my lady. I think I'm going out of my mind. Okay, so that's a dry vocal. Okay, so I right-clicked, uh, selected Create V Vocal Track. It brings up the V Vocal. Um, the, the V Vocal plugin thing here. And I go ahead and highlight it so you can see the actual wave um, and the notes that it's hitting. The, all these little dots are, um, are changeable. You can go ahead and manually change them to fix pitches and stuff. And you can you know stretch out the audio clip and work in various little parts. What I'm going to do, though, is basically just add a little bit of uh, tuning here. So you want to keep the vibrato pretty far so it doesn't show too much of a change um, you want to keep his natural vibrato at least I do on this um, I'll keep the note sensitivity down to about 59 um, 60 and the sensitivity can stay right around 60 also this will just kind of fix anything that's really out of tune not that he is really out of tune um, I just want to make sure that it flows pretty smoothly and keeps on key if you want to have that T-Pain effect that ruined a lot of songs lately, <laughs> you can uh, click on here, go into the vibrato, bring the vibrato all the way down, sensitivity up, you can bring the notes all the way up so it'll kick the note on. You can hit correct and you'll see that all of that vibrato has turned into straight lines um, if you play it. Um, if you play it, I'm going out of my mind. She said crazy things and I said crazy things. Now, that doesn't sound very well. What you can do is you can go ahead and scale it. So if you know what key he is actually singing in, you can hit major or minor here. And then you can select what key and it will automatically choose the key it's in. You hit correct and it will move these into the right key. So it will sound good. I don't want to do that though, um, so what I'm going to do is click back on all these notes because I don't want to scale him. I want to bring the vibrato back up. I'm going to bring the sensitivity down to about 60 and the note sensitivity down to about 60 also. I want to correct it. Keeps his keeps his same wavelength. You can see the red is what's actually changing. So you can see it does lift a few of his notes and drops a few of his notes into um, to match the actual key a little bit more. Just makes it a little bit more in tune and, and on pitch. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's play it. I'm going out of my mind. She said crazy things and I said crazy things. So that sounds good to me. Um, so that's on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a compressor from Sonatus. Uh, comes with Sonar. And I'm going to go ahead and do just the vocal one. It has a little soft knee on it, which I like for R&B vocals. I'm going to raise the gain up a little bit so it uh, comes out. It's a little bit louder. Um, everything else is pretty good. You can tweak this how you want if you want a fast attack um, or a slow attack. Um, you can... Uh, change the input uh, volume on it and so basically um, I just want some light compression because he's pretty good at keeping his levels um, right around the same I'm going out of my mind she said crazy things and I so you can see it has a little bit of compression here when it gets down into this area um, you will see a little bit more of a drop and that's just because there's a spike in his vocals so that will keep it all around the same level um, so we'll keep that compression there, and we're going to go ahead and next add a uh, some reverb to it. I'm going to go ahead and use the Cakewalk uh, reverb. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. And the other reason I'm using it is because everyone who has Sonar um, should most likely have this effects reverb. So um, at least we can... I don't want to use something that uh, you probably don't have, or you might have. Who knows? But So I'm going to go ahead and do this warm, intimate setting. And I bring the mix level down to about five. 
And we'll I'm going one. out of my mind. She said crazy things and I said crazy things. Sounds all right. Might want to raise it up to about six. Okay, so we have the V vocal compressor and the reverb. I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that for now. And actually, I'm going to throw on some EQ. And I'm going to go back to the Sonatus uh, EQ. I'm going to drop some of his low end off. I'm going to raise up a little bit of this high end here. Let's play it and I'll tweak it a little bit I'm for you. I'm going out of my mind. She said crazy things and I said crazy things. A middle ground we just couldn't find. But tonight, I'm going out. Gonna free my mind tonight. Let it all out. And you can mess with that until you get it how you like it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like that. It's got a nice little roll off on the end. And that's pretty good for the main vocal. I keep that in the center. Um, and then the backups, I will go ahead and pan left and right to uh, give the give the whole vocal platform a little bit of space and, uh, and room. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to his backups. He came in here and did some backups. What I did is I went ahead and cut them. So they only they only hit on the on each end of the bar um, or or phrase that he's saying um, it made it a little bit more smoother so he had some other hits that he did I went ahead and just edited it um, you can see how it sounds I with my lady I think I'm going out of my mind so that's good I want to throw on a little bit of reverb um, I'm not gonna throw on the compression on this you can if you like but his his levels are pretty pretty well um, in the same same zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to back to the effects reverb I'm gonna use the same effects reverb, which is warm intimate I'm gonna bring the level down a little bit lower than the first one probably about four within the mix I with my lady. I think I'm going out of my mind. That sounds good Now the other thing that I've done is he has some other I've already added some reverb and on one of them I added some delay. So let's hear that I panned one to the left and I panned one to the right to give it a kind of a stereo uh, vibe to it. This original backup with the with the hits all the way through, I panned that to the left about 45%. So let's hear these. But tonight, I'm going out. Gonna free my mind tonight. So... Basically, he did a little blend, uh, some harmonies uh, parts in there, and we went ahead and panned them, added a uh, reverb, added some uh, delay to one of them, and I used this effects delay, Cakewalk again. Um, I mixed the level really low to about 12, and I like to use the uh, left to right uh, to delay, so it kind of gives you the stereo feeling uh, when it delays. The delay hits the left, and then it goes to the right and uh, fades out, so I really like that delay. Now this is another thing I wanted to show you. I did add some delay. These are these are just cuts of the original track up here. I went ahead and cut the last word on each of his phrase and I put it in a separate track and I put a delay effect unit on it. So when it hits, it doesn't delay the whole phrase he's saying, just the very end, which gives it a nice effect. Going out of my mind. She said crazy things and I said crazy things. A middle ground we just couldn't find. But tonight. So that gives it a nice effect. I also pan that to the right um, just to spread out the vocals even a little bit more. So I will go ahead and let you hear this um, mixed to a little bit of music. Today was so crazy, out of five with my lady. I think I'm going out of my mind. She said crazy things, and I said crazy things. A middle ground we just couldn't find. But tonight, I'm going out. Gonna f That's basically it. Makes it sound really nice. I got to do a little bit more mixing to this. Um, to get the levels a little bit better but uh, for the most part that's it so um, I hope you like what um, I'm showing you if you do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and um, thanks for checking me out